Hey, this is Bob from Wham's Tech, and today we're going to show you how to install a Glide app onto your MacBook. So the first thing you have to do is visit the Glide app. In this case, it's the MyWhams info app. So we'll go to mywhams.glideapp.io. And if you haven't yet installed it on your app and you're visiting this app in Chrome, which I highly recommend because it's the easiest way to install an app, what you do is in the address bar, you click this little circle icon, and this is the install button. So you can see if I hover over it, it says install MyWhams info. So I push the button. I hit install. Okay, and now you see that the MyWhams Info app has been installed on this device. Um, this is living on your MacBook as a Chrome app. So I'll tell you what that means in just a second. But you see that your MyWhams Info app should be available in your dock. Um, it's going to be over here as one of your recent tabs. And then you can drag it over to your dock and place it where you'd like it. And this automatically keeps it in the dock as well. Now, just to verify, you can right click on the icon and go to options and select keep in dock and then you know that the icon will always be there on your device. I believe this works the same way if you're on a PC you can um, install it via Chrome it's going to live down here in your quick tasks and you can right click on it and say pin to taskbar I believe and now this is living on your device. Um, now you see that the default view is like this mobile view but you can switch to show full screen and now you have this responsive app so no matter how you resize it you'll always see a pretty version of the data that you're looking at. Now, I mentioned that this is installed as a Chrome app. What that means is that if you need to uninstall it, you need to do so via Chrome. So the, how you do that is come over here to your uh, Chrome browser, click on apps in your address bar. If you don't see your bookmarks bar here, you can enable it by going to the menu, bookmarks, and then show bookmarks bar. And then in your Chrome app section, you should see your MyWhams info app. And so this is really where it's living. And then your MacBook just really just creates a shadow copy of this and throws it on your MacBook. Uh, so if I click right click on this and say remove from Chrome, not only will it remove it as a Chrome app, it'll also remove it from your MacBook as well. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at robert.petito at woodward.edu. And as always, thanks for watching.